So the question is, is how do you make yourself different and stand out in a day and age where there are so many creators um, that it's oversaturated? I think part of it is, is like really understanding your style. Um, I look at it from a photography perspective. I've had, I've had my style for video for so many years that it's mine. No one else can replicate it. When it, came, when it comes to still photography, um, I'm a little bit like a Flintstone car um, with a wheel every now and then not you know, working correctly um, because I'm still dabbling. I'm still trying to hone my style. Um, because with most most of the time with photography, you know, if you're landscape or if you are a portrait, um, and you have a set style, there's a million other people out there, and everybody's trying to do the same thing. How do you do that? I have a friend that lives in England um, that uh, she she does fashion photography, and her name is Miss Aniella. And what she does is she takes people and puts them in normal situations, but she decides to dramatically change those situations. Last year we were in Paris together. We went to a chateau and she had, she dressed this woman up in all of these like basically Renaissance type clothing, but she changed the color of the hair to be like electric blue. And so if you were there in the room, what you would see is just this woman in this Renaissance clothing with a big picture, and you're going, that's okay. But it was what she did to it after that. She came in and she took the things that were in the painting, and she brought them to life and put them like they were coming out of the painting. And, you know, it was this amazing scene. She did the same thing at a, uh, with, a, um, with a, another woman in the, they had uh, like a dungeon kind of thing in the chateau, which was kind of cool. Um, and she, the day before, we went to the National History, or History Museum, and there was a tiger, and she took a picture of this stuffed tiger. And she took the picture of the stuffed tiger, put it on the back of this woman in this dungeon, and it looks like she was wearing this tiger as like a petticoat. And it actually looked real. She created this style to stand out. Um, and it's taken her trial and error and trial and error to figure that out. From a writing perspective, I think you have to figure out where your voice is and finding your voice in some cases, you know, I'm just going through the process of writing a book and I don't think I have my voice yet and my book's going to be published in July. I mean, it's set and done. <laughs> so I've got to come out with another book, right? In order to fine tune my voice. But I think what you have to have to do is work through it. Stephen Pressfield wrote a book about um, doing the work. And the idea about doing the work is fighting through certain things to find your style, to find out what makes you different than everybody else. And then pouring all of your attention and passion into that. Because once you do that, you'll, you know, you'll stand out above the rest, in my opinion.